There aren't many, if any, software options that can create presentations with all the features and collateral options that we have in PowerPoint. But sometimes we want a simple text outline of our presentation. It could be maybe to show management or others on our team or maybe contributors what the content and flow of the presentation will actually be. Printing the outline is possible from within PowerPoint, but if we need to annotate it or somehow revise or add to the basic content, we might prefer to do so within Word as a Word document with all of its features and capabilities instead of try to do it in PowerPoint. To export the textual content of a presentation to Word, we simply need to save the file as an outline or text document. This is no different than performing a save as in any other application. We need to start by accessing the backstage, and we do that by clicking the file tab in the upper left corner of the screen. Then we come down to the save as option, and we navigate to the location. We're going to go ahead and just click on browse. We're going to save this to the desktop, so we'll choose that from the left-hand side of the screen. Now the most important part of this is to make sure that we change the save as type. We do not want to save it as a PowerPoint presentation. We want to save it as an outline. So we'll click or tap on the Save As type, which displays this huge list. The one that we're looking for is almost all the way to the bottom. It says Outline RTF, and in case you're not aware of it, RTF simply stands for Rich Text Format. We'll give that a click. We can then name the file. If our presentation was already saved once, it will mimic the same file name. If we haven't saved it, then it simply takes whatever the first line of text is, usually the title, and places that as the file name. I recommend giving your outline the same name as the original presentation, unless you have a specific use for it that requires a different name. This just makes it easier to know which text document matches which presentation. With the same name, if they're kept in the same folder, they will always be listed alphabetically together as well. Just makes it easier to find and manage. So we'll leave our default name of Niagara Falls and click or tap Save on the bottom right. Depending on the size of your presentation, it may take a couple of seconds, and then you won't see anything. In order to see it, you need to go back to your desktop or wherever you saved the text document. We'll go ahead and move to the upper right-hand corner of PowerPoint and just minimize this. We'll find the document on the desktop. At this point, you may need to be careful because we might have several different files here if you've been working along through the rest of the videos. We do not want to open Niagara Falls outline. That was actually the original outline that we imported. We want the one just called Niagara Falls. We'll give that a double click and we can see that we do have the text. Now, it is formatted in PowerPoint style. So currently, all of this text is very large, and it may even have colors to it. So you might want to go in and work with some of the formatting to get it back to a normal or a more reasonable word processing document. But the point is, all of our content is here. By the way, this process does only capture titles and bulleted text. It doesn't include text that may be in independent text boxes or charts and diagrams or other types of content. But all of the text definitely is here, and it's now as a standalone, independent Word document. So if you modify the presentation, any changes that you made there will not show up in this document and vice versa. If you do that, you would need to re-export or re-save the outline. They are not linked. If you need to copy the textual content of a presentation for whatever purpose, though, being able to export or save a presentation to an RTF outline is a simple process requiring just a few clicks and using the hopefully familiar Save As command.